Hi, my name is Alexa Hirsch, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about two of my favorite fashion photographers, Tom Hines and Miles Aldridge. Tom Hines has been one of my favorite photographers ever since I stumbled across this picture, which is from the editorial he shot for Lorik's Fall Winter line in 2009. It embodies several common characteristics of Hines' photography that really stand out to me. For example, most of his photographs have been noticeably photoshopped. This makes them look less real, which I like, because fashion photography shouldn't look common or normal. Another thing I love about this photograph and much of Heinz's work is its cinematic look. I'm a film major, and although it's unlikely I'll ever go into film production, I once took an intro class. We learned about the rule of thirds, which is the classic way of composing the image so that, if you divide the screen into thirds, the focal point falls on one third, and the next most interesting part of the image falls on the diagonal third. I'm not quite sure why, but I love when photographs are composed with this cinematic style, and I love that Tom Hines often uses the rule of thirds or some interesting variation of it. In this image, I also really love how the models are smiling. It's pretty rare that models look happy in fashion photography, but here they look like they're having so much fun. This image is also composed with a variation on the rule of thirds, which draws equal attention to both models and makes the picture feel very balanced. Here are some more images from the Lorik series. This picture is from an editorial entitled Asbury Park, which was shot for Spiral Magazine. In addition to the photoshopped smoothness and cinematic composition that I talked about before, Heinz also tends to shoot his models in settings where they seem very out of place. In Asbury Park, Heinz also pays close attention to the color. Each of these scenes excellently complements the clothes and makes the image feel really complete. I also find it funny how he adds in little details, like in this image, a man sitting in a bench that you wouldn't normally find in most fashion photography. Before we move on to the next photographer, I'd like to point out one more awesome thing about Tom Hines, and that is this picture. Grizzly Bear is one of my favorite bands, and Tom Hines has shot them several times. I'm not sure why he decided to go for the kitschy aesthetic, but I really like it. The next photographer I'm going to talk about is THE Miles Aldridge, the fashion photographer that started it all. For me, at least. I remember it very clearly. I was sitting in my school's 24-hour library at 5 or 6 in the morning trying to finish a paper, which is obviously why I was spending my time browsing random websites with a Firefox add-on called StumbleUpon. I clicked the button to view the next site and was greeted by a large photo of a mostly naked model, accompanied by a mysterious-sounding electronic ambient music. Intrigued, I clicked the photo and entered the world of Miles Aldridge. It is very easy to get lost in the endless archive of photos presented in Miles Aldridge's well-designed online portfolio. You can browse photos by category, year, or outlet, of which there are many. Aldridge shoots mostly for Italian Vogue, but he is also commonly featured in many other magazines, such as American Vogue, Numero, and Vogue Nippon. I spent at least an hour on Miles Aldridge's website on that fateful morning in the library. Ever since that day, I have actively sought to learn what I can about fashion photography. There are many reasons why Miles Aldridge is one of my favorite photographers. The first of these reasons is his excellent eye for color. Whether he's going with a muted palette, bright jewel tones, or neon fluorescence, the colors are always very unique, interesting, and aesthetically pleasing. This comes into play particularly well when Miles Aldridge shoots without his usual eye-catching and elaborate sets. I love how Aldridge tends to avoid shooting his models in front of a simple white or light-colored backdrop, which is a style of fashion photography that I find boring. If the clothing is so detailed that it requires a simple setting, that setting should still somehow contribute to the overall aesthetic of the photo. Aldridge is an expert at choosing simple sets that enhance his photos, usually with their colors or simple details. For example, in this Valentino hot couture spread featured in Vogue Italia in 2008, the use of a stained wall in place of a completely solid backdrop adds a unique aesthetic to the pictures without drawing your attention away from the couture. This Numero editorial's brilliant red room and sparse props achieve a similar effect.
The next thing I love about Aldridge is its sense of humor. People often criticize fashion for being unrealistic, impractical, or presented in an over-the-top way. Aldridge often addresses these criticisms in his work, but in a lighthearted and often funny manner. In The Vagaries of Fashion, an editorial shot for Vogue Italia in 2007, Aldridge presents Couture on a model disguised as a mother. High fashion is a prototype that only influences everyday clothing and should be displayed and thought of as art. Like art, Couture is sometimes collected, but as these images evidence, it is not intended to be worn in everyday settings. As this supposed mother ignores her children, Aldridge humorously shows us that high fashion and the realities of everyday life do not exactly mix. For something a little more obviously funny, here's a really amusing editorial based off of the idea that dogs and their owners look alike. So a third thing that I love about Miles Aldridge is his really interesting compositions. This editorial is called Mayfair Lady and it was shot for Numero in 2009. I really like the interesting angles that the model is placed in and also a bunch of these pictures look really cinematic. And to conclude my podcast, here's a 2008 Vogue Italia editorial called Cat Story. No explanation necessary. If you find the photography of Miles Aldridge and Tom Hines as fascinating as I do, there's much more to discover online. So the next time you find yourself procrastinating in the library, go to their websites or just Google fashion photography and see what you find.